Hello my friends and welcome to our third lesson on uh, quadratic expressions and equations. So we are going to tackle a past cases equation done in 2016 paper 1, question number 2. So the question reads, simplify p squared plus 2pq plus q squared divided by p cubed minus uh, pq squared plus p squared q minus q cubed. So we are going to start with the numerator. So let me uh, write the numerator. So the numerator we are given uh, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared. So if you observe this equation clearly, it is a quadratic equation. But we need to arrange. If I choose p to be my variable, then I would rearrange this equation such that this particular term, I'll take p to the outer part. So I can rearrange it as p squared plus 2qp then plus q squared. So I'm simply doing the rearranging so that I can form uh, a perfect uh, quadratic expression. So clearly it is in the form ax squared plus bx then plus c. So because I've chosen p to be my variable, so it means the coefficient of um, p squared of course is 1. So my value of a is 1. My value of b, remember p is the variable, so it is rhyming with x. So whatever remains will be the value of b. Then of course q squared will be the value of c because it is a constant. So q, is, q squared is a constant because I've chosen p to be my variable. So any term that does not have the chosen variable, it automatically becomes a constant. Therefore q squared is a constant, which is the value of c. Then of course we need product and sum. So the product is usually the value of AC, which in this case the value of A of course is 1. Then multiplied by the value of C is Q squared. Therefore the product is 1 times Q squared, which gives us Q squared. Then the sum is usually the value of B, which is equal to clearly the value of B is 2Q. So 2Q is my value of B. So to find the factors, that is the two numbers when you multiply you get q squared, when you add you get 2q, we simply check the factors of the product. So of course the product we have q squared, so the factors of q squared are q, q goes into q squared q times, then q into q one time. So of course the factors are q and q. So you combine them in such a way that when you add you get 2q, when you multiply you get q squared. Of course I'll simply pick q and q. If you take q times q, you'll obtain q squared. If you take q plus q, you'll get 2q. Therefore, the factors are q and q. Then from there, we simply rewrite the equation, but where we have the value of b, you substitute with the factors. Remember, 2q broken down is the same as q plus q. So we are simply breaking down the value of b, but the other terms remain constant. So if I rewrite the equation, I'll have 1p squared, which is just the same as p squared. Then I substitute the value of q. But any value of q that I substitute, I have to multiply with p because p is rhyming with my x. So the first value is, of course, q. So I multiply it by p, which is rhyming with my x. So p. The second value is also q. Then I also multiply it by p. Then I continue with the equation plus the value of c, which is q squared, so plus q squared. So uh, I check the values that are similar in the first two terms. So of course, p is common, so I'll factor out p into, so p into p squared, it goes there p times. Then qp divided by p, you'll just remain with positive q because the p and p will cancel out. Then I also check the common term between uh, the second two terms. So, of course, we have QP, then we have Q squared. So, Q is common in both terms. So, I'll factor out the Q into. So, QP divided by Q, I'll simply remain with P, then plus Q squared divided by Q, I'll simply get Q. So, you can see this is exactly same as that. So, I'll pick the values in outside the bracket. So, P plus Q, then I pick one of the values that are within the bracket, which is P plus Q. So, these are the factors of the numerator then we move to the denominator so denominator we are given uh, p cubed minus pq squared plus p squared q minus q uh, cubed so if you check the denominator it is actually not a quadratic 
So we use other methods to simplify it. So the denominator, for the denominator, uh, denominator, we are given uh, p cubed, p cubed minus p q squared plus p squared q, then minus q cubed. So I'll simply, uh, because it is not a quadratic, I'll simply uh, find the common factors between any two terms. So between p cubed and uh, p q squared, the common term is p. So I factor out p, so I'll have p into p cubed divided by p, I'll get p squared minus p q squared divided by p, the p and p will cancel, I remain with q squared. Then uh, the common term between these two last terms, of course, will be q. So I factor out uh, the q into p squared q divided by q, the q and q will cancel, I remain with p squared minus q cubed divided by q, I'll simply uh, obtain q squared. Then, of course, because this one is similar to this, I pick the values outside the bracket, p plus q. Then the ones inside the bracket, I just pick one of the values. So it is p squared minus q squared. But if you look at p squared minus q squared, we can further simplify it because this is a difference of two squares. So this can as well be written as p plus q multiplied by p plus q, then p minus Q. So I'm simply applying the law of difference of two squares, which states that if you have x squared minus y squared, that should be equal to x plus y multiplied by x minus y, x minus y. So that is the law that I've applied to break down this part. So this is the uh, simplified part of the denominator. Then, of course, after that, I combine the whole thing. So the whole, I'll simply take the numerator divided by the denominator. So the simplified value for the numerator was um, p plus q into brackets p uh, plus q. So we have p plus q and uh, p plus q. So then the that was the numerator, p plus q plus p plus q. Then the denominator, I have uh, p plus q. So I'll simply write it, p plus q, then multiplied by p plus q then multiplied by p minus q. So that is my denominator. So we check for similar terms so that they can cancel out. So p plus q will cancel with the p plus q. p plus q plus p plus q will also cancel out. So the final answer will remain to be on the numerator, I've just remained with 1. So that will be 1 over p minus q. So this will be the final answer because we cannot simplify beyond that point. We look at our example 7, which uh, we are given as, we are told to factorize 2x squared y squared minus 5xy minus 12. So these are past cases question done in the year 1993, paper 1, question number 1. So let me just rewrite the given equation. It is 2x squared y squared minus 5xy minus 12. So clearly, this is a quadratic equation because it has two variables. One of the variables is a square. The other one is not a square. Then, of course, this is a constant. So if I choose y to be my variable in this particular case, uh, remember you can also choose x to be your variable. The answers will just be the same. So this is in the form ax squared plus bx then plus c. So clearly, the value of a will be 2x uh, squared the value of b, uh, clearly I'm choosing y to be the variable. So the value of b in this case will be the coefficient, the coefficient of uh, uh, y. Then the value of c, of course, is a constant. That is any term that does not have the chosen variable of which I've chosen my variable in this case to be the y. So, of course, I need product and sum because we are told to factorize. So the product will be the value of ac, which is equals to Clearly, the value of a is, uh, the value of a will be 2x squared, so 2x squared, multiplied by, the value of c is negative 12. So, if you take 2x squared multiplied by negative 12, you will obtain negative 24x squared, negative 24x squared. Then the sum is usually the value of b, which clearly from the question is negative 5x. So, negative 5x is the value of b. 
So I need two numbers. When I multiply, I get negative 24x squared. When I add, I get negative 5x. So to obtain the numbers, we simply check the factors of the uh, product that we have. So let's check the factors of 24 because 24 is our product. So let me check the factors of uh, 24. I simply ignore the negative first and the x squared. I just want to deal with the, uh, the, the constant first. So 24, 2 into 24, 12. Then 2 into 12, 6. 2 into 6, uh, 3. Then 3 into 3, 1. So the values are 2, 2, 2, and 3. So I need two values when I add or subtract, I get negative 5. So the only way to obtain that, I'll, I'll combine 2, 2, and 2, which gives me 8. Because I know 8 minus 3, I'll simply obtain 5. So I'll combine these ones into 8. So these ones will give me 8. Then, of course, this one would simply give me 3. But if you check the sum, the sum has an x. So there is no way if you add 3 plus, um, that is, or minus 8, that there will be an x. So the only way to find that is to introduce an x on both terms. That is the term having the 8 and the one having the 3. Then the sum is a negative, so that means the larger number should be negative, so that when you add, you get a negative. When you multiply, you'll get negative 24. Then x and x will give you the x squared. Therefore, the terms uh, that we need are actually, uh, we have negative 8x and 3x. So those are our factors, negative 8x and 3x. So if you take negative 8x times 3x, negative 8 by 3, you'll get negative 24. x by x, you get x squared. Negative 8x plus 3, you'll obtain negative 5x. Then we'll simply substitute the region having part, that is the value of b, so the other terms will be maintained. So the first term, of course, was uh, 2x squared, y squared. Then here I substitute the values, the factors that I've gotten, because... So anything that I substitute for b, it must be multiplied by y because the y is coming outside the value of b or it is corresponding with the value of x. So this will be, so I'll have negative 8x, then I add the value of y, then plus 3x, I add the value of y, then of course plus the value of c, which was negative 12. Then I look for any common factors between these two. Of course, 2 can go through all the values. Then, of course, x can also go through. Then y can also go through. So 2 and 2 will cancel. x would remain with 1x. Then y into y squared would remain with 1y. Then minus 2 into, uh, that is negative 8, you'll obtain negative 4. x into x will cancel. y and y will cancel out. Then here, I'll pick a positive 3 into uh, 3xy divided by 3, 3 and 3 will cancel, I remain with xy, then minus negative 12 divided by 3, you will obtain negative 4. So you can see the numbers within the bracket are exactly the same. So I'll just pick the ones outside the bracket, which is 2x plus, that is 2xy, 2xy, then plus 3, then I pick one of the numbers that are within that particular bracket, which is x, xy minus Four. So that is the uh, factorized value of that particular equation. Then we look at our example 8, which is that simplify completely uh, 3x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 1, then minus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1. So these are past case equation done in 1995, paper 2, question number 8. So with this one, I'll just uh, deal with the whole uh, question. So remember, x squared minus 1 is just the same as saying x squared minus 1 squared. So I'm putting a 1 squared so that I introduce a difference of 2 squares. So this is the same as saying uh, 3x squared minus 1 divided by x, that is x squared minus 1 squared. Remember, 1 squared is just 1. So I've not changed anything. I'm just trying to introduce a difference of 2 squares because I am given x squared here, then we know that 1 can be written as 1 squared, because 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is just 1. So you have not changed anything. I'm simply uh, finding a difference of 2 squares, then minus 2x plus 1, then divided by x plus 1. 
but we know from this one if you use the property of the difference of two squares which stated that x squared minus y squared is the same as x plus y multiplied by x minus y i can simply apply that property here so that i'll simply get uh, 3 x squared minus 1 divided by so this one will be x plus 1 into x minus 1 because i'm applying this property of the difference of two squares then of course the other term is minus uh, 2x plus 1 then divided by uh, x plus 1 so at this stage we simply find the lcm of course the lcm of these two will be just this term because x plus 1 can actually go into this term so the lcm of those two is x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 then x plus 1 into x minus 1 goes into x plus 1 x minus 1 one time so one times this one i'll simply get uh, 1 into 3x squared minus 1. Then x plus 1 will go here. It will cancel with x plus 1 so that I remain with x minus 1. So the x minus 1 has to multiply with the 2x plus 1. But remember, we have a negative. So I'll simply pick negative. x plus 1 will cancel with this. I remain with uh, negative into x minus 1. Then it has also to multiply with uh, 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. So I'll simplify the numerator so that I simply get, of course, if I open this bracket, I'll have uh, 3x squared minus 1 times negative 1, I'll get 1. Then here, remember the negative affects everything, so I'll start by expanding these first. So minus, let me use other large brackets. So if I expand this, I'll simply take x into uh, 2x plus 1, then minus 1 into 2x plus 1 just the normal expansion then divided by uh, divided by x plus 1 into x minus 1 so this will be equal to so the numerator will be 3x squared minus 1 then minus into so x times 2x I'll simply get 2x squared then x times 1 I'll get x then minus uh, 2x then minus 1 then I can open that bracket now. So x plus 1 into x minus 1. So if I open uh, the bracket on the numerator, I'll simply have 3x squared minus 1. So remember the negative has to affect each and every term within that bracket. So negative times 2x squared, I'll get negative 2x squared. Then negative times x, I'll get negative, uh, negative x. Negative times negative, I'll get a positive 2x negative by negative I'll get a positive 1 then divided by x plus 1 uh, into x minus 1 so <clears throat> this will be equal to I'll simply add the like terms so 3x squared minus 2x squared I'll remain with x squared so these two will give me positive x squared then uh, I proceed to x so negative x plus 2x so 2x minus x I'll simply get a positive x then of course negative 1 plus 1 I'll simply obtain 0 so divided by x plus 1 then into x minus 1 so if you look at the numerator we can further simplify it because x is common so we can write it as uh, x into uh, so x into x squared goes there x times x into x one time then divided by x plus 1 into x minus 1 so you can see we have common factors, x plus 1 and x plus 1 will cancel out. So the final answer will remain to be x divided by x minus 1. So we cannot simplify it beyond that particular point. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted.